M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I had quite a few people message me saying, which is your favorite radio of 2022? And as you know, I've used pretty much every radio you can think of. And I'm gonna just tell you the ones that stood out for me. And so here they are in front of you. On the left, you've got the RT3S or the MD380. And I know this is an old radio, but it has the new OpenGD77 firmware which came out about June and it's just absolutely fantastic. It actually tracks satellites, puts in the frequencies for you and adds the Doppler shift. And there's the list there of the satellites in a list. And then if you push the down button, it shows the satellite and it's passing over. I just think it's fantastic. It's got manual dial, you can control everything, whether it's color code, slots, zones, Every single thing you can think of, it sounds great. And you can buy these radios, these RT3S MD380 dual band radios, 80, 90 pound brand new. If, you get, if you're lucky, you'll get a second hand one, 50, 60 pound. So for me, it's a must have DMR radio. Works great on VHF, UHF with your local repeaters. It's got a band scope. It's just, it's got endless functions, take it from me. Once you've used that firmware on that radio and, and, the, and the audio is good, it's a very good quality handheld. And that's it, that's, that's so there's, there's one straight away that, that I'm very, very happy with. The other one is the Yaesu FT710. Now I did lots of videos on this before it came out. I knew it was gonna come out. Uh, I knew Yaesu, Yaesu have actually got a, quite a few radios in the works. You wait and see, 2023, you're gonna see some interesting Yaesu radios as you will for ICOM and Kenwood as well but anyway let's focus now on the Yaesu 710 why do I love it well number one you add your antenna I've got a 9 to 1 ballon here with a 20 meter long wire you add your antenna you turn it on and it, it's just busy you can see all the activity you haven't got this really high noise floor uh, nine you know signal nine uh, so whatever they've done, because I have not changed anything at home, all the same, you know, internet connections, all the same items I've got running at home are still running, but but somehow the Yesu just gets rid of that noise floor. So for me, it's it's fantastic. The external monitor just looks amazing. It's a real fun radio to use. It's not perfect. No radio is perfect. The ICOM 7300, the 705, you know, the uh, those kind of radios that compete with it. You know, and th this radio was definitely built to compete with the 7300. Uh, it's, it's virtually the same radio in a different box, obviously different hardware. You know, Yesu build their own hardware, software, programming. Of course, it's a different radio, but you think about the specs, HF, 6 meters, 70 megahertz, built-in tuner. The size is, is virtually the same size as the 991. It's definitely not built to compete with the 991, although it's the same size. Because the 991 is a VHF UHF radio, which I still got mine. I, I love my 991, uh, 991A as well. But no, they got it right with the 710, as they did with the Yesu FT5, actually. So my second favorite radio, the one that really stands out in the whole year, is is definitely the Yesu FT710. So well done to to Yesu for that. And that's it. These are my personal. This is personally what I like. The other thing about the Yesu is they really brought it out at a good price. I know the introductory price was around £1,100, but really you're picking these up with a few good deals and a few freebies thrown in around £1,000. You think about what you're getting for £1,000 and what the same radio would have cost even, say, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. It probably would have cost a lot more. And, um, and, and also with the MD380 style radios, wow, you know, they brought that out quite a long time ago and still when you listen on talk group 91 dmr and all that kind of stuff you're still seeing people using them every day and we've got our any tone 878s which i i highly rate as a radio uh, but pound for pound the rt3s and md380 in my opinion is a better radio uh, pound for pound anyway so that's it happy christmas happy new year thanks for watching my channel you know this is just me a lot of people think my channel is a tutorial channel it's actually not a tutorial it's a way of me recording and remembering how to use my own radios and i put it onto youtube as i'm learning it loads lots of time i get it wrong i know i get it wrong but but that's i want to get it wrong so that i learn to get it right and the more messages i get from people when i get 20 30 messages a day from different people the more i learn and the more i try out so thanks very much 73 catch you on air all the best